Have you ever done anything in your long and storied career that you consider specifically to be in bad taste as you look back on it? Maybe at the time you thought it was a good play, but you look uh, back on it and you think that was in bad taste. Well, sometimes, like in stand-up, I'll do jokes that are uh, that I th like. One time I was doing this thing in San Francisco, and they were all gay uh, people in the audience. They told me, so I figured I'll in do. In San it. Francisco? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured I'd do stuff about gay people so that they could relate to. Yeah, it's warm up. Right. <laughs> they love that. And so I was talking about because I went to this gay pride parade. And I saw in it there were these uh, old men and old ladies like with these uh, signs that said, we are proud of our gay son, you know? And so I was saying, that's an odd thing to be proud of, you know, because it's not an achievement, you know? It's not like something you work all your life to be gay or anything like that. And I, I just wondered, I just, I, I had a hard time believing that these 50, 60 year old men are actually bragging, you know, at work like they're, hey, uh, Bill, you know, uh, my kid, oh my God, we're proud of him, Johnny. He uh, uh, graduated from Harvard, you know, a first in his class, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, now he's articling over at a law firm and, uh, oh yeah, he loves cock. <laughs> you know? This kid. He can't get enough cock in his mouth, his ass, this kid's always cock. I got a, I got a picture of the boy here sucking another man's cock. I want to show it to you. To watch the maturation of you as an artist, to realize it took you nine and a half minutes to get around to the sucking cock stuff. <laughs> it's beautiful to see you comfortable in your own skin, Normie. All right. <laughs>